All right, hello everyone, my name is Denzel Ben and welcome back to Stellaris. This is the very first episode where we actually start playing the game in the zeroth episode that came before this one. Uh, we created our, our species and our government type, our ethics and that sort of stuff. And this is what we ended up with, a uh, mushroom dude with a skill of four apparently, species denizen. We are the denizen interplanetary, interplanetary commonwealth, there you go. That's like the worst name ever, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so we are a plutocratic oligarchy. We've got warp travel. And we are starting from Neboria. And that's where we are. Let's read this. In the eons since the first primitive denizen communities took shape in the archipelagos and lagoons of Neboria, our civilization has spread and prospered. As scientific knowledge increased and new outposts were founded across our world, trade flourished and tied the various nation states together until they became a singular entity. Single entity. Power rested with the merchant princes, the true architects of our achievement as a civilization. Right, we are actually a plutocratic oligarchy. That means we get energy grads plus five and minerals plus five. Very nice. Um, now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the Denizen Interplan Interplanetary Commonwealth have finished development of the first warp drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Right. This is it, guys. Let's start. I'm so excited. Oh, very nice. Okay. Intelligence. Engineering output plus 10% for all... Uh, uh, research fields we are repugnant because we are um, a mushroom and people don't like mushrooms apparently uh, which gives us minus one percent happiness for other species uh, but we do have natural sociologists which will hopefully help us it gives us a 15 percent boost to society output society research that will hopefully help us uh, expand our empire by colonizing new worlds more easily and we like ocean worlds. Begin! Okay, so here we have Veer. He is our sort of um, uh, tutorial dude. Um, I think we will go with use some advice because I can actually use some advice, but most often I will just click him away un unless we uh, have to learn something new. Um, and I will just... Uh, sort of explain what I'm doing anyway, so there you go. Right, so this is our starting planet, Naboria. There you go. This is our home world. Um, yeah, so this is our governor on our home world. Look at the pretty ocean world. I, li I just like the, the how the game looks. I mean, look at this. It's so amazing. Just flying around in space. Oh. Right. Uh, this is the uh, the solar system, Neboritar. It's where we live. Okay, so this is our planet. That's actually the dark side of our planet. Can we sort of circle around? Yes. There we go. Tuscany is apparently our moon. That's fair enough. And these are our ships here. Very nice. Look at those. I like it. That's the fungoid ship style, I believe we picked. Very good. So, uh, as I was saying, this is our plan here. Uh, we can have uh, we can have an overview of what the resources are on this planet. Uh, habitability is 100%, of course, because this is our homeworld. And uh, let's see, we've got a food surplus. Here we see a visual representation. And here we see a visual representation, uh, as my assistant was so strikingly telling you. Uh, this is sort of tiles, and these tiles represent stuff that you can do on your home world. We've got minerals here and food, for example, and we've got a pop, uh, a population dude working that town. There's some stuff that is in our way. So, uh, for example, we've got industrial wasteland. That town is currently not being worked, but we could work it at some point. We can always build, also build uh, buildings on these tiles to improve the effect that they have. So we might have to build a uh, I'm already regretting not turning him off. Hydrophonics Farm 1, for example, would give us plus 2 food. Uh, would suppress the mineral collection here. But we might upgrade this to uh, a new Hydrophonics Farm later on. We will have to research though those and so on. So that's how we sort of will do this. Um, we've got up top here our total energy credits. We are currently at 50. Energy credits is an energy-backed currency accepted by all space-faring races. You can gain more energy by building or upgrading power plants. 
or using construction ships to build mining stations. We'll get to that when we get to it. Um, so that's basically a currency, but it is in the form of energy. Very interesting, and uh, I think it might become very true. Who knows? In the future. Uh, if it isn't already, of course. Uh, minerals are basically, uh, let's see, a collective term for the basic resource we need for to construct ships, stations, and planetary buildings. So that is the actual building material that we use. Uh, we've got a maximum storage capacity of 5,000 for energy that is 2,500, so we'll have to keep an eye on that, as I noted in the uh, zeroth episode. We've got influence here. Influence represents political clout and is used for many things, like enacting edicts, uh, recruiting leaders, building frontier outposts, and dealing with factions. The game rate remains fairly constant throughout the game, but can be slightly increased by upgrading planetary capital buildings to the highest level, or declaring other empires your rival. So this is very important, I think. Um, we, in the beginning, we need it mostly for frontier outposts. And that is because... Let's see, this is the actual galaxy map. And here we go, let's zoom it out a bit. We are actually sort of in the... Well, I, I suppose it's the north. Yeah. Uh, that's where we begin. This is the entire galaxy that we will be playing in, with the actual... Uh, what was it? 600 stars, I believe? Um... So this is our sort of sphere, sphere of influence that we have, our borders, so to say. We can expand them. There's apparently another planet here in our border. This one, I think, is outside of our borders. Borders lies within, lies within our space. So we can probably get there and do st stuff. Um, but if we want to expand beyond that, we either need to colonize a planet or create one of those frontier outposts. And we have to do that because there might be resources in these stars, star systems. And we want to get to those resources to uh, uh, advance our, our empire. Right, so let's see. Uh, what else we got going on? We've got the, the research uh, department. These are the three resource departments that we have. We've got physics, society, and engineering. We've got a huge boost to, uh, to society because of our uh, trade that we picked. I think we got a 10%, 15% boost to trade to output. So, we will get working on those. These will just basically be running all the time. Uh, but you have to pick one of three. And that basically, I mean, I, I think it works like a, um, a deck of cards, right? So you pick one of these uh, three, then that one is finished, and then three more cards come up, and you pick one again, and so on. So we've got um, three interesting options here for physics which is being headed by researcher Liang Pan, who has their own... Yeah, so he's very good at researching particles, plus 10%. So each of these uh, researchers have their own traits. Research speed, plus 10%. Very nice. Oh, well, that's basically this, I think, scientists, yeah. Um, our boost probably comes from, uh, from other stuff that is then indirectly used here. Um, Yasmin Bouchard. Leader lifespan, plus 25 years. Oh, dear. Okay, energy capacity, um, let's see. I mean, energy is probably bound to fill up first. We've got 2,500, and I think that's what happened in my last game as well. Energy storage capacity, we could also go with... No, I want to go with the power hop, I like it. Uh, that's a cool building, and it increases our capacity here. Let's go with that. Uh, on to society research. And I think we'll just go with New World's Protocol. That's the sort of basic research that you need to colonize other planets and that's of course what we want to do so let's do that i uh, didn't even look at the other ones but there you go sometimes there might be a rare uh, research thing going on and oftentimes you want to pick that because it's it's not likely to come back again in the next shuffle so that's something we have to keep in mind uh, this is engineering that's a lot of stuff for ships but also for uh, science apparently yeah, uh, but I think we will go with, um, I don't know, iron thrusters, fine. This gives us the amount of months that we have to wait until this is finished. Um, basically just waiting a lot there. Uh, we can speed that up by increasing our output, so that's what we're going to do. Um, okay, so next step, we want to use our science ship. This is our science ship, yes. And we will use that science ship to survey our home system. And that's going to give us locations of resources. We are sort of uh, going to survey these planets and that will re reveal those resources to us. And that's very important because then we can use our construction ship 
to build either a, a research station, if we are talking about uh, physics or society or engineering research that might pop up at, as, a, as a resource here, or it's going to be energy or minerals. Uh, later on, there's going to be different type, a type of strategic resources as well, but we'll get to that later on. Okay, let's um, start the game here. Let's run it at fast for now. And there we go. And that's our first thing that we are doing here. Nothing to see there, apparently. There will be a pop-up. Uh, right, we've also got our military fleet here, by the way. Uh, the 69 represents the military power that it has. It's not impressive, so we'll have to do something about that. But in the uh, beginning, the early stages of the game, there's not going to be a lot of fighting. Uh, well, at least not of other empires. So, salam. Yeah, so we've got some stuff here. We've got minerals, too. We need to build a mining station in orbit of the planet to acquire them. So let's do that. We've got to pick our construction ship. You can just overview. Uh, you, get, you get an overview of the uh, ships here. Ooh. Already encountered an alien vassal. We've encountered some form of alien vassals in the Nebordetar system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Right, so it did not take long for the Denison Interplanetary Commonwealth to came, come across intelligent alien life. The fleet's report to the Denison capital somewhat understates just how alien these forces appear and only in passing mentions the failure to open comms. So we can't talk to them, but we did see them, and there they are. These are unknown right. Um, I think we can investigate them, and that's basically what our situation log is for. And that's a sort of quest log, I suppose. Uh, we've got uh, the new quest here, Investigate Alpha Aliens. Uh, so let's do that. That will halt our society research for 180 days, as we can see here. Yeah, so here, Marcelo Fernandez is now busy with the uh, special project. Okay, something else just popped up. We have looked at our moon, Tuscany, surveyed it with our... Uh, shut up. Uh, with our um, science ship. And we've got a uh, an anomaly. Anolum, anomaly. Anomaly. Failure risk, 0%. So something interesting popped up, and we will research it with our sign ship. It's going to turn around, and it's going to do some digging there. Uh, meanwhile, we will use our construction ship to move here. Just right-click and build a mining station. Because I want to harvest those two minerals, and that will increase our uh, monthly gain to 11, hopefully. So the sign ship is working on that anomaly. Very curious to see what will happen. Let's zoom it out a bit. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so construction has begun on the mining station here as well. Uh, secrets at the doorstep. We found one of our old probes on Tuscany. It is somehow kept intact all these years and is still trying to send data to our homeworld. It stands as a testament to our past struggles and our wish to flee our planet's bounds. We should continue to investigate these sorts of anomalies. That's going to be a very difficult word for me to pronounce. Anomalies. I'm going to have to sort of get into the lingo of Stellaris. I mean, probably after a few episodes I get the hang of these words and I'll just get them down and nail those pronunciations. We'll see. Whenever we get the chance. It will most assertly grant us new knowledge and technology. Our efforts have finally paid off. Okay. So nothing happening there. No, we are still investigating the alien alphas. Uh, and actually, we will go with a new... That's something else our uh, home world has. It has this spaceport, and the spaceport is where we can build a new science ship, among other ships as well. And we will create a new science ship first, because then we can increase the rate at which we survey new systems. Right. So surveying... This moon didn't hold anything, unfortunately. System survey. Okay, so the system has been fully surveyed now. Uh, so this sign ship hasn't really found anything. We did get the uh, the mine here, the uh, minerals, but it's not a very good start. That's annoying. So what we'll do now is move on to Runa. We will survey that system as well. There's quite some stuff going on. 
might hold some new stuff and this is this is already within our bounds so nothing uh, new there as you can see our boundaries are expanding as well our borders as we are moving but that's actually not our actual boundaries it's more like what we have discovered i suppose um okay so we've created a new science ship and we will need to assign a leader yes okay uh these are the scientists that we already have recruited or are at least an, uh, an, in our empire working um so we can recruit a new one uh, this is going to cost us uh, uh influence for example uh so let's see research speed plus 10 percent is interesting but uh, not really useful because we are going to recruit this person for our ships leader experience gain plus 15 percent research speed plus five percent what we could do is move around our researchers. Do we have anyone who might be useful to put on a ship instead? Not really. Uh, so I guess we'll just go with the leader experience gain. I don't know. Uh, so this person is now available. Kui Yang. There we go. Put it on our ship. Put her on our ship. And we will actually move that ship, that sign ship, to uh, Viriak, which is also within our boundaries. And that ship will just warp out of there and then move to that other system to survey it. Let's see how that goes. Okay, there you go. And actually we have now, as you can see by this uh, green number here, it was white before. It's now green, which indicates that we are now mining it. So our construction ship is done constructing that mining station. Okay, um, the Spaceborne line forms with the Dennis... Denizanian, head of society and research, has come to refer... Why did I pick this name? Seriously, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Has come to refer as the Tianki are docile creatures capable of uh, accessing some lower dimensions of subspace. They roam from system to system with relative ease. Though nearly the same ease... Near, though nearly the same ease as Denizanian fleets. Denizanian. 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 I don't know, you guys. They graze on gases coming to the upper layers of many gas giants. It's highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed. They will rarely, if ever, attack, even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Hunting them would be a net loss anyway. That's fair enough. Okay, so that's the sort of pop-up that we came across, uh, the new life form. I want to see, though, what's happening here. Okay, so these... Uh, icons here indicate that this might be a habitable world for us, but they aren't. Well, this one is. Yes, that's so nice. So we've got a, a an option to colonize here in a system that is not even too far away. And I think we will do that. We will probably use this planet as our second uh, world here because it's an ocean world. So that's uh, best for us. That's what we are uh, good at. This one is a tropical world that's not going to be good for us uh we will still survey it we will still have to survey it to see what's going to happen here anything else going on let's see the sign ship is still working here well that's very nice as well so this sign ship has found already found two mineral sources and is now working on oh actually leveled up to level two very good that's important for when she comes across anomalies. We'll give ourselves a uh, better chance of succeeding when we are researching those anomalies. Anomalies. Oh dear. Base risk 30%. Um, 22%. Let's do it. So if we fail, then our scientists might die, the ship might die, that sort of stuff might happen. So it's it's a risk, but we'll see. I want to see what's there. And actually, in the meantime, we can get our construction ship. And what I like to do is actually... Actually, we don't have enough uh, minerals here. What we can do... Uh, there's two stations here. What you can just do is uh, right-click the system and build mining stations. Plural. So it will just build all the systems, all the mining stations at once. Uh, however, we don't have enough minerals to do so right now. So let's do them one by one instead. Ooh, this is very nice. This tropical world, how many, how much habitability does it have? 20%. So that's not th something we are going to colonize anytime soon. But it does hold one energy and one mineral. So we will actually build some stuff there in uh, in orbit around it. 
Even more stuff. Well, this is a pretty good start. Our, our home system isn't great, but the surrounding stuff is pretty nice, actually. And I think we will uh, speed it up a bit. Failure! The Mulders needs a new assignment. Okay. So, um, our, um, ooh, hostile fleet. Towards the unknown system. Oh, no. Our uh, anom anomaly stuff oh, didn't work out. That's a shame. We're still working though, right? So this uh, green dotted line is actually the uh, sensor range that we have. It's where we can see stuff happening. System survey complete. Uh, so if anything happens here, we won't know it. Basically, that's that's the thing. And here, uh, here, here, not either. So there you go. Uh, Runa has been fully surveyed. So even more stuff here. Even more stuff to mine. Very good. We are building the, uh, <laughs> look at that. There we go, mining station completed. And we will go on to the next one. Although the next one will have to be the um, energy one here because we are running low on energy credits. Or at least our income is going to go into negative numbers there. Um, have you surveyed this system yet? Not yet. So this is the ocean world that we are going to colonize. How much time still until we get a colony ship? 46 months. So quite a long time. And for the rest, well, there's quite some good stuff going on here as well. Yeah, so negative balance now for energy. Leaders gain a level, service uh, done. And I think we'll just go on surveying. Um, in what direction, though? We might actually want to look what is behind us here. Because that seems like a sort of easily defendable... Uh, area of the uh, of the galaxy. So I would prefer to sort of go there first. Um, now we'll see what happens here. Expanding here. We might encounter some hostile fleets. Not yet. So you guys are here. Actually quite some stuff going on here. Hopefully some uh, stuff for us to harvest. Ooh, wait a second. What's this? We've got a continental world and another ocean world. So we could go and place our second world here, actually. And that might not be a bad idea. Because that way we would expand our empire a bit more than, say, uh, placing it here. Because Simply because this is further away. And I really want to stretch out. And as you can see here, we can effectively control only five planets, so we have to make them count. Um, we can increase this, by the way, but that's going to take a long time, I think. So, in fact, what I want to do is, once you are finished there, I want you to survey this system. Just holding the shift button, I think it should queue it up. Yeah, it's got 17 more orders now. It's because there's so many stuff going on, apparently, here. Another world going on arid so that's not good for us okay i like it though a lot of, it, was a good, it seemed like a good start a good start indeed okay how's this ship going pretty fine okay we did make some more uh, minerals so we will go ahead and build this other mining station here it's gonna basically create a uh, energy credits mining station there yeah there we go Anomaly. Anomaly. Okay. 45%? Well, let's leave it be for now. That's a high failure rate. Hmm, that's a shame, though. Okay, so two more mining stations to be built here. Very good. You can... Actually, you can't, apparently. Ah, there you go. Survey. And how about you? You are still busy. Six energy credits to be had here. And this is a problem, though, because this is not within our borders. So we will have to build a frontier post here or to get there. Uh, and what we'll do, I think, is to create a new construction ship as well, just to speed up our constructions. Although, to be fair, our uh, minerals can't keep up just yet, but that's fine. I like it, though. It's good. Uh, let's see. I want to see the numbers here. Yeah, there you go. So we got a construction ship. That was pretty fast. So we've got three, uh, 332 here. we got four minerals there. And we're still working on this system. 
These guys are still neutral, so not nothing doing there. I've come to compare those guys to the native tribes in, uh, in EU4. Well, there's some other dudes as well that we might want to encounter, that we might might encounter uh, quite quickly, and those are actually aggressive. So those are more like the natives, I suppose. Fill your risk 22%, leave it be for now. We'll get back to that once our scientist has leveled up a bit. System survey complete. System survey complete. Okay, very good. So it's an A32 system. Very, very nice. And we will make good use of that. So this science ship is going to move on, I think, to survey that system where there is a planet for us. And I think that will allow us to to increase our blob size here to two. And I think we are actually quite close to, well, 26 more months until we can build a colony ship. At least we will have surveyed this system um, science officer has gained the trait stubborn. That is unfortunate for her. And what does that do? I don't know. Can we see? Yes, we can. Leader experience gained minus 50%. 15. That's pretty bad, actually. I don't like that one bit. That's fair. Not quite sure why that happened, though. Oh, well. We researched iron thrusters. So we will get a... Oh, and we researched um, the physics one as well. Global energy management. Very good. Uh, let's first go with engineering. Geothermal fracking. Mineral storage capacity plus 1,000. That's pretty good. Uh, missile defense module. I think we'll go with this. We're going to increase our storage. Um, new research for the physics department. Physics lab could be interesting. Oops. Anomaly 30%. Leave it be. Uh, might be a bit too cautious there, but I, uh, I think for now it's more important to find what's around us, basically. Uh, energy storage capacity plus 250. I like that. Let's go with that. Okay. Okay, so what's here? We got two on two. So that's, it's, yeah, it's okay. But I'm not going to spend a uh, frontier outpost for the for that a frontier outpost you should know is um, gonna decrease our influence income by two uh, i think for every one outpost we got a, a decrease of two so it's gonna be pretty horrible uh, but i think we will build one here it's because look at those numbers 832 or 332 no plus this i think is already within our boundaries so let's first go this uh, yeah, 22% is fine. Let's do it. Just because we can. There we go. This is our new world. High gravity. Building cost plus 15%. That's a shame. Atmospheric hallucinogen. Happiness plus 10%. Society output plus 10%. Ethics divergence plus 10 um, yeah, so more divergence. But I still think this would be a good world. Especially as we have even more society output. Our society research is going to go crazy. And I like it. Hopefully this will uh, succeed. Yes. We've discovered an artifact from an ancient alien civilization called uh, Durabius the Third. Three. If what we have learned from these artifacts is correct, the civilization was some sort of confederation that consisted of many different alien races. They called themselves the First League and appear to have coexisted in relative peace some two million years ago. Though the, though the Darabius system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory, a partial map found among the artifacts indicates that the First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before the eventual collapse. Okay, interesting. Uh, so we got a new situation uh, going on. First League artifacts recovered. Zero off six. So that's a sort of uh, ongoing quest that's going on there. Uh, we've got an, an inactive science ship right over there. So you... You know what, I think we'll just queue up some... Well, yeah, let's just queue up two systems to survey for you. And why don't you go there after that? So a lot of stuff to do. You've got 32 orders to go through. Uh, construction ship still working. Did we build the frontier outpost yet? No, not yet. It's still on its way. For society in this system here. 
Um, but that's fine. That's going to be our planet, so that's good anyway. Um, and because we are going to create a planet here, I think it's good to survey these two systems as well. And this is basically the uh, the early stages of the game, just trying to find out what's around you. Um, ooh! For example, that. Evading hostile fleet. Uh, alien vassals. And our assigned ship will automatically just flee, which is uh, the preferred behavior, just because otherwise we would have been killed, as you can see. Beta aliens. Four ships of 72 military pirates, so we wouldn't be able to take that right now. We've encountered some form of alien vassals in the Alud... Aludra system. These strange objects have been flagged as beta aliens, so we can learn more about them. So what I'll do is probably investigate them, but that will slow down our colonies. Yeah, I think we're gonna wait for 12 months. Well, let's just do it. It's gonna add three months to our colony situation, but that's sort of fine. Some leveling up there for our leaders. That's very good. Uh, so you have stopped. Can you move there? Yes, you can. Okay. Habitable World Survey. We know without a doubt that the thriving biosphere is not something unique to Neboria. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists urge us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable, life-bearing worlds. A commendable initiative. Or we have more important matters to focus on. Well, I don't think so. I want to expand. But other more important focus stuff would you have? No. Commendable alternative. So I think this will give us a quest. Oh dear, dear. Stop, stop. Habitable world survey. So we have to survey uh, eight habitable worlds. Okay. That will probably give us some kind of uh, bonus there. Um, gamma aliens. Even more aliens found. Ooh. Let's pause. Thank you very much. Still some new worlds here. Not useful, apparently. Uh, okay, so more aliens. So you have fled once again. Okay, that is fine. Okay, can you at least survey this and then this? Yes. Okay, how is our construction ship doing? Well, it's going to take some more time. Right, I think we'll put in a quick cut here and we'll uh, continue this on the other side. Um, hope you're liking this so far. Very excited to uh, start expanding our empire with our construction uh, ships and our uh, colony ships mostly. And we will start expanding in probably hopefully in the next episode, I think, because this uh, research is almost finished after this yeah okay so that's great so hope to see you in the next episode again uh, feel free to leave any comments down below about anything i might have missed or am missing um i'll be sure to read them and uh, because of this is uh, one of the very first episodes of the series don't forget to uh, share this with your friends and on twitter or facebook or uh anything else that you might want to do and uh, let's get this series out there right so thank you guys for watching see you in the next episode Bye bye